America's drug problem. When someone mentions America's drug problem, you probably think of illegal drugs like marijuana, heroin, or crystal meth. But the misprescribing and overprescribing by doctors of perfectly legal drugs is a problem that every year results in more than 100,000 deaths and 1.5 million hospitalizations and waste tens of billions of dollars. The primary culprit for this avoidable problem is the drug industry itself, which last year sold $286.5 billion worth of drugs in the U.S. alone. Drug companies have their eyes on profits and sometimes hide data showing a medication may be harmful. Studies of ads circulated to doctors show that these campaigns can contain false and misleading information. How many drugs make up a drug problem? Well, in 2008, an estimated 3.8 billion prescriptions were filled by drug stores and mail order in the U.S. That's more than 12 prescriptions per man, woman, and child in this country. But not everyone is equally at risk. Unsurprisingly, more than twice as many prescriptions are filled for people 65 and older, over 23 per year, as for those younger than 65, about 10 per year. Of course, many drugs are beneficial, even life-saving. But a recent study found that one in five elderly patients who are not in hospitals or nursing homes were using at least one drug they shouldn't have been prescribed. How can we solve this drug problem? The Food and Drug Administration must do a better job of screening drugs to make sure dangerous ones don't make it to the pharmacy shelves. The government also needs to rein in drug ads. In the meantime, consumers like you must make informed decisions when it comes to drugs. Ask your doctor questions before you start taking a prescription and make sure your doctor knows what you're already taking. For an independent second opinion, check out Public Citizens www.worstpills.org.